Hello, you're watching Got Space Game and it's time for DCS in 3 or less. Welcome back to the channel, this is my first video since spending two months in hospital. Today we're in the Hornet, showing how to conduct a precision strike with laser guided bombs. As always, useful control bindings will be on screen at the end of the video. Select air to ground mode, check master arm on. Check the flur is on and arm the laser. You'll have to rearm the laser with each bomb drop. On the right hand screen, bring up the FLIR display. Note the laser code, default is 1688. On the left hand screen, select the 82LG. LG stands for laser guided. Set automatic bombing mode. Set your electronic fuse. Delay 1 is good for bunkers and hardened targets. We're attacking a warehouse though, so we'll go for instantaneous. Next we'll set our laser code. Bug the code button on the UFC, 1688, enter. Step to any other pylons and repeat. Note that code remains bugged from before and that the mode and fusing settings are global so no need to change those. You can now step back to your preferred pylon. On the HSD, bring up your route, set your target waypoint and designate. On the targeting pod, set a FLIR mode, narrow field of view, and zoom right in to get a good look at your target area. We'll be looking for a warehouse with a convoy of military trucks parked outside. Your attack altitude will depend heavily on the tactical situation. We're going to choose to level off just below this upper cloud layer. You can set your autopilot at this point, but avoid using a coupled mode as this can reset the target point. Note the targeting pod shows the distance to target and time to release. This will count down below 99 seconds. Soy the targeting pod with sensor select right. Use the TDC to slew around and look for your target. As we get closer we can try CCD mode, adjusting brightness and contrast to suit. Watch for the release timer to begin its countdown. I see the convoy outside the warehouse, so I'll designate with TDC depress. Make sure the flight path marker is aligned with the steering queue. Check that the HUD shows auto mode and no dud notification. Double check that the laser is armed, it'll fire automatically as long as trig remains unboxed. When the release queue appears, press and hold the weapon release button. When it reaches the flight path marker, the bomb will drop. Note the countdown to laser firing. Begin in orbit and fly to avoid masking the laser. As the laser fires, the countdown will change to show time to impact. I've been Dan and you've been watching DCS and 3 or less from Got Space Game. Big shout out to TJ Mac the Third for a very generous Kofi donation. Please like and subscribe to the channel for more 3 minute DCS tutorials covering all of your favourite modules.